right, fans with us today. They are two of the coolest YouTube, no prep, straight up, down to earth bomb people coming to us from Axel, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you Ta and Chrissy Moonshiners. All right. How's it going, my friends? Very good. Thanks for joining us here on the E's and B's. And as we do each and every time we have a guest, we love to do the shine the light. And this week, it's going to be a special shine the light as we've got Tom and Chrissy, Moonshiners Garage, joining us. And as we always do, we're going to jump right on in and learn a little bit about them and have some fun questions as we always do here on the E's and B's. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. Tell my fans and listeners out there, guys, how did you get your start in the no prep and YouTube world? Okay. So the YouTube thing is, uh, well, first of all, we're just getting started in the no prep, so that's a real easy one. We're just starting rolling. We just transferred this truck over to uh, small tires with uh, long travel in the front. So now we're uh, now we're ready to take on a dirt road. It don't matter. But we're just getting into that right now. This past year, we started no prepping. So we're just learning. But uh, if you talk about Moonshine Garage, uh, just the YouTube channel itself, uh, man, I just one day picked up the can. Well, I got all these nephews and stuff that walk around and talk about every, you know, everything you do. They're like, oh, I know a guy on YouTube does that, makes millions. Oh, I know a guy on YouTube does that. All he does is this. Well, I, I'm a tile setter, guys. We set tile. We build custom showers. And, you know, I'm out there, and I'm, like, digging the concrete out of the bucket. And, you know, my nephew's working for me. He's like, oh, yeah, man, uh, I know a guy on YouTube. He just messes with concrete like that and makes millions. I'm like, dude, if everybody's making millions, why don't you have a YouTube channel? Well, they don't ever do nothing. I'm like, I'm that uncle that's like, oh, let me show you how that's good. Boom. Moonshine and rod. Here we go. <laughs> that's I it. it. I like it. Do it. I'm going to do it. And I'm going to show you all a little punk. And here we are, like, we've been YouTube now, like, two years. And we hit a 1,000 subscribers in our right at the end of our first year. And I was able to, like, strut around my nephew's mm -hmm. and Now they're like, Man, I can't believe our uncle has a YouTube. <laughs> and, and we don't even have a YouTube. So there it is. That's awesome. Yeah. I love every bit about it. Obviously, I came across the uh, Moonshiners Garage by a good friend of yours, a good friend of ours here at the E's and B's, Jimmy Dale, obviously a famous YouTuber. But uh, as I stumbled across this awesome uh, channel of yours, I've been attached since I've clicked on day one. And of course, each and every video keeps getting better and better. I love to watch and follow along with the Moonshiners Garage. If you guys out there have not done that, Make sure when this video is over here, you click, subscribe, follow those guys. Each and every Thursday, they're coming at us with Thirsty Thursday. Always doing some awesome giveaways for some very cool stuff. So make sure you guys are going, following those guys there on YouTube and checking out what they got going on. But with that, let's keep things going here. Let me let me ask you this, guys. What's your favorite thing about No Prep? You want to get this one? I'll, I'll nail them all. Oh my God. I mean, I, I enjoy the people. The people are great. And it's just good racing. So I, I want to pick up on that a little bit. And I want to go back to the Jimmy Dale deal. Before Jimmy Dale was on TV or anything like that, you know, uh, we were in the same race. He was driving uh, the white moon. One of our other friends had the white truck called Moonshine. And, and he was driving Moonshine and I was in Moonshine. So we was in the same race. And, uh, you know, it was his first time ever driving that truck on there. So instead of him letting off the trans brake, he hits a two kid on the line, pops flames and shit. And, and I'm in the race, but I'm also trying to get this YouTube thing going. So I like grab the camera and hustle over there between rounds. I'm like, hey, man, what happened up there on the line? I don't even know who Jimmy Dale was. And, uh, you know, we started cutting it up. He gave me a little bit of content that day. And then after that, we started chit chatting back on the back and forth. So we kind of started following that group around to the no prep and uh i'm so thankful i did because that that's what got us sponsored by nx right there jimmy dale michael paul and all them guys stepped in they was like 
dude, this guy is beating the hell out of this truck, and they're making passes, and they're they're they're, they're in the grind, they're in the grunge. You know, I want to help them. So, because of Jimmy Dale, that's kind of where we started pulling towards the no prep. You asked us what our favorite thing about it is. This is our favorite thing for me. And the racing, the type of racing that we do with this truck, you put the money down. You get one pass. That's it. You're pulling this thing off a trailer. You're hitting it, and you either got your shit together or you're going home. And that race might not even happen until midnight at night, you know, and we might be four or five hours from the house, you know, so it just intensifies it and makes it great. Even when you don't make the, you know, you don't make the run, you get out run because there's some fast-ass cars out there. You still had a great time because now we're on the line with all the rest of the losers and drinking and having a good time. So yeah, I love the crowd, man. Limpy, Limpy. we go to we go to uh, Park in the Dark. We love the flashlight thing, man. Like there ain't nothing. Nobody can explain that. You can go to a racetrack, come up on stage, and like that's great, that's awesome. There's a whole set of drilling that goes there, but there's another set of drilling when you're rolling up. You got Lippy's ass up there on on a light, and it's just all of a sudden he's just dropped you in, and you're gone. And uh, wow, that's amazing. There's nothing like it in the world. That's what I love the most about this kind of racing. And you guys have already kind of touched on it. The other thing that we love the most here at the E's and B's is the family atmosphere that comes along with it. You mentioned it. You know, when you're knocked out and down and out, you're still having a good time because you're there either backing your best buddy, supporting a team yeah. member. Or just maybe even gambling, having some fun. Who knows? That's what I love the most. And here's what I want to shine a little bit of extra light on the topic. When it comes to you guys and, and certain other teams, you know, some people have the money, the funds to put forth and do whatever they want when they want. But when it comes to a small team, a husband and wife team that bust their ass just as hard as any other money team or anything out there, they need to light shine on them a little bit more because you guys make it that much more funner. And that's why we follow people like you here at the E's and B's. Yeah. I really appreciate that. Our whole, I can't tell you. I mean, it's really easy to look like this because this is it. This is real life. There's no faking in here. So my, my subscribers, uh, I don't know how long you've been following the channel, but man, we may be on a run. We may be racing at Armageddon right up there with the big dogs one week. And next week, we out there digging a ditch trying to put a two-inch water line in just so we get back to the grind. So, yeah, I mean, I, I don't even know. It, it's been – it's just getting better and better and yep. better. More people are getting involved in the channel. Like, I remember starting the channel. I just wanted to see, okay, hey, guys. Who would like to follow me? I got a truck with a big block and some nitrous, you know, and – and uh. So, you know, you don't get people to follow you stuff. And then all of a sudden, this thing came. And we was talking about this earlier today. This thing came around. And all of a sudden, it was like, guess what? I don't really, I don't, like, the street outlaws, I'm not as interested in them as I just want the guy. I always say it. The guy with an S10 has got a stock 350 in it and found some old slick behind his uncle's barn, put them on the truck. That's the guy I want wearing a Moonshiner Garage shirt. Those are the people, the ones that are just still in the grind, dude. Just yep. That's our style for sure. How about this question? I got one for you. Staying on the racing topic, we'll switch it up here in just a second, get to some of those fun ones. One of the fun ones I like to ask here, though, if you had a choice, would you choose front, back, or the street? <laughs> All right. So, uh, man, I like, I don't know if you gave me this option, but I still go back to the Olympic races when he has us in a controlled environment on the track, but there's no surface front, front side, no we'll front. consider that front. We'll consider that there, front. But the sticky, I can do without the sticky now. I, it's funny. I'm like totally like, it don't even matter. I'm afraid to go to sticky checks. I'm going to hurt my truck or something like that. I'd rather really get out there and let it get down and, and see what I can do. That's where I like that. I agree. Yeah. That's the old school way. That's the way I like to, uh, you know, you learn the most about your truck and your team and yourself when you don't have those advantages put in front of you, in my opinion. That's just how I look at it. 
Hey, let me ask you this. One more race question before we get to the fun ones here. What to date is your biggest win? Biggest win. I mean, I don't know. It's it don't have to be. It doesn't have to be a finals. It could be you beat your uh, Mercer. You beat, you know, something. I mean, yeah, that day ain't came yet, but I'm working on that. I mean, we get second round at Armageddon. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. We made second round Armageddon against some of the baddest full size trucks. I mean, it, and we lost to the person that. And we lost race, to the person so. that won the race. So I'm not saying we couldn't have went first. Yeah, but, and, and we know you were fixing your truck up, you know, get it back together. It wasn't tested that well. We know the the, yeah. the hardness that got you, you know, got you to that point. So that that shows the team effort, you know, your guys' drive and, and obviously the passion. I feel like we're right on the cusp of everybody knowing who Moonshiner Garage is. I, I feel it in my heart. My wife feels it. We talk about it. If you don't know who Moonshiner Garage is, you're fisting to find out. If everything keeps going right, we're going to be out there. We have a 1957 Chevrolet on Moonshiner Garage's team, twin turbo, 540. That ain't no pump. And we're going to try to we're, we're, we're going to try and run a 5 on the street. That's our goal. So – there's Work in no progress. Way. Work in progress. We understand. Hell yeah. Can't wait. Uh, period. All right. Let's get to some of those fun ones. Some of the famous questions here on the E's and B's. And you guys can answer this any way you'd like. Starting off with the famous one. You're having breakfast with any celebrity or racer out there. Who are you having it with? And what are you having? I've answered every question. I'm going to sit here and shut up and have my drink with you, Bubba. This one's on her. I mean, I would like to have breakfast with like Taylor Morton or Lizzie Musi, but they're all health fanatics, so I don't know what I would be. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> and That's cool. And all right. All right. I like it. How about this? If you guys had a superpower, what would you have? Oh, I wish I could snap my fingers and everything was clean. <laughs> that would be my superpower. <laughs> all right. How about you, Tom? What about you? If you had a superpower, what would it be? Man, all I can say here think is all my buddies watching this show, like, I hope he's going to say, I wish he would say, keep it. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, I'm all about gratitude. I wish you could just, I'm almost like my wife. I just wish you could just snap gratitude into people. I see a lot of people that their whole lives could change if they could just change their perspective on things. Man, I love that answer. Awesome answer. All right, two more fun ones here. How about this? The movie of your life is coming out tomorrow. Who's playing you, and what's the name of it? The movie's coming out tomorrow. I already know who's playing you. You do? Who's his name? Johnny Warren. Johnny from the Karate Kid. All right, all right, all right. Well, how about a name of the movie for you guys? <laughs> I don't know what the name would be. I mean, everybody knows that I think my wife's smoking hot. So <laughs> I would have to go back to Miss, what's her name? Aniston? Jennifer. Yeah, Aniston. Jennifer. She'd be playing <laughs> my wife. I'm just saying. You know? uh, what? That's it. What's the name of it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Shining on them. Shining on them. I love it. I love it. All right. Last <laughs> one here. If you guys could have walk up theme style music. When you pulled up into the water box, what song would be playing when you guys pulled in? Oh, mine's a, mine's a, uh, what's the one about, uh, Copperhead Road? All right, all right. Head Road. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. All right, let's get back to a few more of the racing questions. Before I turn the table, we're listening, or we're talking to you with moonshiners garage make sure you guys are checking them out on youtube go give them a follow hit that subscribe button i gotta ask you though tom and chrissy if you guys could change one thing in the no prep world what would it be okay i can answer that one but do you want to I, I, my answer is the same as yours so okay so if you watch your channel then you know that there's something that we're trying to do and that's promote this race called building a bracket race it's where it doesn't make a shit about your stuff man what I can't stand about what's happening right now is the division. I can't stand it. It's I get it, but damn, man, it's like small tire, big tire, da 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 
we're all trying to get from A to B, you know, like, I right. feel like upsetting all those rules, those people will get weeded out, you know, those people will get weeded out. You would end up with the fastest of the fast big tire, you'd end up with the fastest of the fast small tire because people stop playing games, but... As long as you got rules, that's what we do. We try to break the rules. That's what racers do. <laughs> right. You push it to the limits, push the limits. And I can agree with you. Of course, that's been a topic thrown around the media world now for the whole season, whether it's tires, rules, all that stuff. I could agree. If we could just eliminate all that back and forth and, and agree on one thing, it obviously would be the best racing family and world we had, obviously, for sure. All right. How about this? What's your favorite part of the YouTube channel? Oh, mine are the comments, man. When you get a comment, when you wake up, John, you know, brush your teeth, whatever, you go pick up your phone, and you see a comment that says, dude, guys, I just found your channel. I went back and watched multiple videos. I love what y'all are doing, what y'all are standing for. I get what you're laying down. It's, it's amazing. I mean, we get comments. We're ready to move to a small town. We're, you know, they start talking about the stuff that we're doing, you know, like, we talk about that all the time. Like, we want to be positive influence. It's like, you know, I'm just, we could all be real, real popular if, if we sold sex and drama. You know, Absolutely. you might, out of my wife, here, well, that's about as far as Moonshine Garage is going to go. But yeah, that's it, drama and that, that's what sells. What we're doing is genuine people that like this stuff. And that's what attracts people like me to certain channels like yours. It's the actual down-to-earth style people like yourselves that will show you not only the good, but the bad and everything in between when they had the cameras on. That's what I love the most about Moonshiners Garage. All right, just two more questions here before I turn the tables over to you guys and allow yourself to promote and let everybody know about your sponsors. All right, if you was not racing, what would be your next hobby? I'm all about the lake right now. I'm on the lake house, be by the water. We would be liking it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, well, I mean, the lake's definitely, I've always said, though, like, you know, it's right, it's your, your environment. The reason that we drag race today is because there was a drag strip five miles from our house. If there was a river running behind my house, I'd be a river rat. <laughs> right. You know? So, you know, I think that's how we all get to where we're at. Like, you know, so, but I'd have to probably go with my wife. If I ain't out there watching some race cars, I'm going to be checking out some other stuff at the lake. So. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I love that. All right. The last one here, and it's the famous one before I turn the tables over to you. When it's all said and done, what do you want the Moonshiners Garage legacy and YouTube to be? Oh, wow. So I think YouTube is like endless. And every time I think I get where are we, I mean, you know, from 500 to 1,000 to 15 to 3,000. Da, 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 da. But as of right now, and this is the goal. When we roll up into a racetrack, I want racetracks to call Moonshiner Garage. Please come, please bring Moonshiner Garage with you. Because if everything works out like I want to, and I get this builder's bracket race and all this stuff going. When Moonshiner Garage shows up, 30 or 40 racers are going to show up. And we're not just going to show up, but we're going to set out a party in the pits. It's going to blow everybody's mind. The Hot Wheels, all that. It's all a big thing coming together. Like I said, it, we're on the cusp. Everybody's going to know. They're going to find <laughs> out. They're going to find out soon enough. I didn't say we we're going to be the fastest. I didn't say that. We're not going to go out there. We're not going to outrun Ryan Martin. We're not, we're not going to do none of that. But we will be. But we will bring a group of people with us that are going to bring an impact. It's going to change the environment of the whole racetrack. I'm telling you. Awesome. I love those vibes. That's the way it is. I feel it inside of me. I know that this is happening because I, I know for a fact that there's more people out there like me than there is, you know, big, big dog swinging, ding a ling and all the ends. There's more of us. Yep. And uh, we ever, all of us get set back, man. I feel like there's a lot of people out there have a car sitting in the garage 
that have watched too much YouTube about it having to be a small tire, or you got to run a 5.0, or you got, or you got to have all this for tech and all this. And I'm trying to tell everybody, look, look over here. <laughs> this is a all steel, all glass, slow ass truck. It's a 454. We're out there, and we're right beside the people that you think you can't get out and race with. We're doing it. We just come back from Armageddon, guys. I mean, that's the biggest of the big. And this truck was in it, and it made rounds. So don't sit there on your ass. Don't sit there on your hands. Get your truck done. Get it the best you can. And it, get with Moonshine Garage. And go out and, and, and everybody pull together like it used to be at the racetracks back in the day. When, you know, even when the racing was done, that we were still in the pits enjoying it and helping everybody get our shit together and get loaded up and all that stuff. And that's what I'm trying to bring back. The whole thing, man. Don't I go off on you, brother. Oh, man, I, I, I couldn't say it any better, folks. You heard it right there. Tom laid it down. There's so much coming at us. But before we get out of here, I'm going to turn the tables over here to Tom and Chrissy. They're going to tell you a little bit about their channel, some of their sponsors, and where you can find them at. Hey, guys, the floor is yours. Go. <laughs> Y'all realize she don't ever say that, right? Yeah, I, I struggle with her on the video trying to get her to participate. You know, she does all be talking. I got a lot of shit to say. <laughs> all right. But are you going to sell the merch? Because we need to pay for some of this. Yeah, we're so we do have a website. It's moonshinegarage.com. We got these new shirts out. They're on there. We got some koozies and some mouse pads, some um, hats. We got some fitted hats coming in. Uh, so y'all can go check out our website. I'm going to be adding more stickers. Okay. Yeah. So, so when I tell you it's all about how you feel about stuff, I'm going to just run that back. Rewind that real quick. Be neat. All right, guys, well, welcome everybody to Moonshiner Garage. You go out there and you go check out moonshinergarage.com. Help us out. Spread the love. Pick us up a shirt. These are some nice white ones you won't burn up at the racetrack. But if you really just want to support us and make sure you know and everybody knows that you support us, you pick up one of these black shirts that says, help me shine on the back of it, because that's what we're really trying to do. We're trying to help everybody shine. I don't care if you got five subscribers, 2,000 subscribers, 200,000 subscribers, you run five O's or seven nineties. We're trying to help everybody shine. And the only way that I can get my ass out there to help everybody shine is actually guide y'all over to my youth, my website so that you can buy this little rickety deep bullshit that my wife makes. It ain't really worth much. This is a mouse pad. But if you can get a couple dollars together and help us, we can help the next man at the racetrack when we all get together. See, I mean, if you just want to help us, I mean, from beer koozies and coke koozies and the tall ones, you put a wine glass, hide it at the crack. Mm -hmm. Or if you just want to help us out, I mean, where's my stickers at? I mean, I would like to see these more on people's cars. I want, because this, this to me is saying, I'm a regular Joe, man, and I roll with regular folk, and come on with it. This is what we want to see. We got some others. We got some nice stuff, too. But anyways, get you a hat. So all kind of stuff in the future. This is what I want everybody to know. All you really got to do is tune in on Thursday nights for Thirsty Thursday, where we're sitting right here in this barn and we're acting just like this. We're doing exactly the same thing we're doing right now. We're having a drink and we're just trying to get to know everybody that's on our channel and be like, hey, this is who we are. You're not seeing a bullshit. What you are getting to see is I kind of edit it up a little bit, throw some music behind it, make it enjoyable for you to watch. But in reality, this is who we are. And we're really trying to reach out to everybody, say, come on with Moonshine Garage. Let's go to the track. Let's pile it up. Let's fill up the staging lanes with tons of Moonshine Garage guys, tons of Moonshine Garage people. These are all shiners. Everybody's saying it. You say it. I see it. You say yeah, shine. Every like, day, baby. Keep shining. Or is he just what? And then when I saw your podcast, I told my wife, this guy can help us, but guess what? We can help him too. So all of my subscribers can reach right back out to this podcast guy that's doing the exact same thing that I'm trying to do to everybody else. Here's the platform. I got a little platform. Jump up here, Moonshine, and you can talk right here. You can talk here. Thursday nights. Moonshine Garage. There you have it, folks. Awesome stuff. Like I said, it's been an honor and a pleasure having you here at the E's and B's. Make sure you guys go check out moonshinersgarage.com. 
Check them out each and every Thursday. And make sure you subscribe to them on YouTube so you do not miss out on any of the baddest no prep action going on from Axel, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time. It's Tom and Chrissy Moonshot. Thank you for having us on your podcast, dude. Thank you. We love you guys. Thank you so much. Reach out to all my people. It's a great time, man. Absolutely. Thanks again.